Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. There's lots to celebrate here at the Nanaimo Museum today. It's their 50th anniversary. We're going to check out their new exhibit today on Go Island. Today on Go Island, a proposal to increase minimum wage in BC, a look into VIU's jazz program, and an update on the construction industry. That and more today on Go. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're here celebrating with the Nanaimo Museum. We're going to check out their brand new exhibit. You can see people streaming in there right now to get a scoop. We're going to bring it to you a little bit later. First, it's time to check out the debate over the increase of minimum wage. Brianne LaPlante has the story. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're here at the Nanaimo Museum celebrating their 50th anniversary. I'm here with President John Manning. John, this is a big celebration. Tell us a little bit about the exhibit and, and what went into it. Well, the new exhibit is, is our final permanent exhibit in the museum. Uh, it starts off with the uh, Chinese history uh, from the original Chinatown. There was actually three different Chinatowns, so we've got uh, bits and pieces of uh, all three of them in the exhibit. And then as you go through the exhibit, it uh, then talks about our, the, the commercial development of Nanaimo. And then at the very end, we have a beautiful display of some of the heritage homes and heritage buildings in Nanaimo, some that are gone and some that are still around. So it's, it's basically the last piece of the puzzle for our permanent exhibits. Awesome, and I know one of the things that mentioned in, in the speech is kind of kicking this whole thing off is the volunteers and what it took to kind of get us to this place. Maybe you could talk a little bit about what kind of volunteers uh, have, what kind of effort it has taken to get us to here. Well, initially the museum was only staffed by volunteers, so there was no paid staff members. And, and uh, sometime in the early 1970s, we had one staff member. Now we have about seven or eight staff members who to be honest, do the work of about 30 people. But on top of that, we have over 60 volunteers. And without the volunteers, we simply wouldn't be able to run this museum. They contribute thousands and thousands of hours collectively. I mean, we've got 10 board members who, who contribute hundreds and hundreds of hours a year. We've got the people who come in every day to man the front desk, to help with the uh, school programs, to you know do absolutely everything and so they're amazing we've got the fantastic volunteers perfect and it shows because it's great around here we're gonna have a look but first it's time to throw things over to Derek Johnston for an update on the construction industry It's a look back in time at history here at Nanaimo Museum. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary. We have a big weekend of Frisbee coming up here in Nanaimo. If you're into Frisbee, it's ultimate Frisbee. It's called the Utter Bowl, happening April 5th and 6th. You can find out more information at NanaimoUltimate.ca. It's time now to take a short break. We'll be back to take a look around. Still ahead on Go Island, Vancouver Island University's Jazz Studies Program, and FLED, an organization helping lost and escaped dogs. That and more still ahead on Go. Did you know that brass instruments are made with brass, which is an alloy of copper and zinc? 70% copper, 30% zinc, and the reason that that metal is used for making brass instruments is it because it has a unique property of being bendable after it has been heated so that you can make all of these different curved pieces of tube. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're here at Nanaimo Museum celebrating their 50th anniversary. And of course, that would not be possible without the many volunteers. We've learned just how important their contributions are. I'm here with Parker. He's actually been a volunteer for the entire time, the whole 50 years. Parker, what made you want to donate all your time to this cause? Well, I've always been interested in the preservation of the history of Nanaimo, because it can get lost. A lot of our history has been lost because of that, and uh, I think it was just the desire to save and protect the history of this town because we have a very rich history starting back from the coal mining days and then transferring into lumbering and now it's, they say it's culture and education or whatever, but 
I think our past history is very important to us. I think you're absolutely right. And can you speak a little bit about what, how has it changed? Like how did, I know the museum didn't start this big full of this many exhibits. What was it like back in the beginning? Uh, is that in the beginning of the museum? You betcha. Well, it started by a group of dedicated volunteers. That was what it was. With the same, I think the same thought as I just expressed. That they wanted to save what was left of the history. And uh, it, it was just, just that desire, because it might be too, like in my case, my family history goes back to Nanaimo to 1889 when my grandfather first arrived here. That's wonderful. Well, people definitely have to come and check out this exhibit for themselves to really get a, a, a good grasp on how great it really is. It's time now we have to throw things over to Jocelyn Matt Wee for a look at the VIU Jazz Program. BIU jazz students will be performing a series of concerts. It's their end of term concerts. They're going to be taking place on April 7th, 8th, and 9th at the Malaspina Theater on the VIU campus. It's going to be students accompanied with faculty and some musical guests for a 7 p.m. start and donations is how you're going to get in there, so admission by donation. It's time now to learn about an organization called FLED. They helped me this past weekend when I had a stray dog in my yard. Here's Annette Lucas. A look back at some historical clothing. I have to admit, I think I'm glad clothing has changed over the last 50 years. We have a fundraiser to let you know about. It's called Feet for Food. It's a fundraiser for the Nanoose Bay Community Cupboard. Just goes to show people aren't just hungry at Christmas time. They need food donations all year round. This is a five kilometer walk that's taking place on April 6th. It's at 10 a.m. and it's going to start and end at the Nanoose Bay Dental Clinic on Collins Street. You can find out more information online on their Facebook page. Another thing we want to let you know about next week is National Volunteer Week and we have lots of great volunteers to celebrate. We're going to be having a programming special on Shaw TV on April 7th so check it out. That's it for this edition of Go Island. Thanks for watching. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salon.